Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Sunday. For many people, Sunday is a rest day, but not for the day by day family. It is the Sunday before we go back to school, before Gabby goes back to school. If you guys don't know, we set our whole entire lives up around Gabby's school. Like we support her so much in her endeavor to go to school. We put everything on hold for school. So we all get up together in the morning. We all stay with her until she goes to school. We all spend time with her before she goes to school. And when she comes home, we're so excited to see her and we all talk to her like, we spend so much time supporting her. But today we are working on getting some more things cleaned up so that when she goes back to school, I wanna redo this room. It's turned into our catch-all. This is my little desk here. It's turned into like where I have all my craft stuff and I wanna get it all cleaned up and organized. I might even move this table so that it's along that wall and make it into our desk and get rid of that table. That's such a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. All the dogs are up here hanging out with us. You guys know that last week we started cleaning out this room for the visit okay. of our grandkids. I love that cat because a bug flew on me and I didn't even realize and she caught it and ate it. A bug flew on you and she caught it and ate it? So She sleeps with me every night now. Yeah, so Sophie started leaving her bedroom door open. I brought up a bunch of pillowcases. So Sophie started leaving her bedroom door open at night and now little Miss Missy has decided <laughs> to sleep with Sophie, but Ellie still sleeps with me. She's still a mama girl, mama's girl. I am still working on this room. I chose this one. You guys know I told you that Ellie, no. <laughs> the, the animals were like, whoa, it's the best room. Even my dog came in here and she does not like <laughs> new places. So, <laughs> Sophie's making up these little beds because I told you guys half of my grandkids want to sleep in the trailer and camp outside in the middle of January when it's freezing cold and one doesn't and one doesn't and the one that then and Sophie doesn't want to either why don't you want to Sophie because I don't like the barn she's scared of the barn <laughs> I'm you know what I'm afraid of I'm afraid of the noise the goats are going to make all night long and keep us awake so I'm gonna take one of those, you can't see them, but we have some sound machines in the corner there and I'm going to take that with us. <laughs> anyway, our Sunday is getting ready for the, for the new semester of school, getting ready for our grandkids visit, which is coming up super soon, getting ready for Sophie to start school again. She's still doing homeschool, but I have like curriculum stuff that I need to work on. And the biggest thing though is getting set up for the grandkids. I always leave it till the last minute. I don't want to do that again. But I can tell you it's so hard to work in this house because it's scorching hot. It's scorching hot in here and I'm gonna show you guys why. This, my friends, is why I'm so hot and why our house is so hot and why I'm so uncomfortable all the time. Years ago when Sam, bought, Sam and I bought our second house ever together, it was my favorite house that we've ever owned. And it was only on a one acre lot. It wasn't a farm and that was the only problem with it. But it was amazing. It's the kind of house I love. It was long like this. There were so many rooms. There's like a living room, a rec room, a family room, a kitchen, a bathroom, four bedrooms. Like it just was the exact size that I love, the exact style that I love. I had an ingram pool. It was amazing. But anyway, the one thing that it had was a wood stove, a really nice wood stove, bigger than that one, and in our family room, no, in our, yeah, in our family room on the main floor. And Sam used to heat our house with it in the winter, and it's where, that house is where I learned to hate wood stoves. Because unfortunately, Sam is obsessed, loves it nice and warm, and keeps that sucker going all day long. It gets so hot in here to the point that I've had to make rules about how hot it can be so that we can all sleep and be healthy. This one is the friendliest. All right, bring them out. Sophie this wants to do a, friendly. bring them out. This one's, no. Sophie wants to do a little chicken update. The These guys are almost ready to hit, to go outside. Hates me. That one Snowball hates you? Snowball hates me and I love her the most. She is so cute, you guys. Like, look at her. She's tiny. Yeah, so who do you think her mom is? We like to play this the game. The smallest who, chicken that we have. Yeah, so we have this little, this little, what are they called? Like these, this tiny little hen. And let's see, I don't know Our if you guys can see the difference in the size between her and the others. Still. She's just a tiny little thing. So it's hard for us to tell who the mom is because a lot of them favor the color of their dad. So this is the kind of the color of their dad. He's Except a lighter. 
He's, yeah, so Sophie thinks that that is a barred rock. Thank you. Help, help! They don't like this one's a friendly one. Yeah, it is so friendly. I just love that one so much. It sits on their food thing and then pokes its head up through the bars and then the cat comes and whacks it. <laughs> no, but the cat sits here and goes bop, bop. <laughs> so she is definitely... <laughs> they definitely don't want us to show them today. Let's bring her out and show, let's show her wings. So we definitely think that she's a girl, but look at her wings. Aren't they cool? So yeah, they're, it's hard to see, but these are gray and then these are white. She's like half gray and half white and she's so cute. Any of the black ones we feel for sure are part, are, have the mom as the, what are they? What? Bard rock. No. Oh, so Sophie does think that the barred rock, we only have one barred rock. Yeah, they, she thinks that that one is barred rock cross. So hopefully, hopefully they lay pink eggs. Snowball! And this is a silky cross. She's really cute. You're my favorite, but you hate me. Yeah, only one is really friendly. Two. Two? What's the other one? Oh, that is so cute. Literally that chicken that is so friendly, it's probably a rooster. It's always a rooster. Whenever we love one to death, it's always a rooster. That one has a twin that hates everyone. Well, oh, so here's the thing. So here's the thing about um, our chickens that I've been noticing since we've been hatching eggs. We've been noticing that a lot of our eggs aren't fertile. So that means that we definitely need another rooster. Okay. Our rooster's not making the rounds enough. We only have 12 chickens, like actual 12 mature chickens. Hi. And one rooster is obviously not enough for 12 chickens. Let's see, so do you think he's a black copper moran cross? Uh, maybe. So a lot of the black chickens we feel come from the black copper moran. So hopefully they'll lay dark brown eggs. We don't know. We're just excited to have new colored eggs. Sam wore this hat that he bought on Timu out to take care of the horses this morning. What happened? Yeah, I forgot I had the hat on. I walked in and all the horses were freaking out. Penny was running in that pen. Storm was freaking out and all the other They were all upset because he was... I was like, what are you freaking out for? And I'm like, oh yeah, I have the hat on. So I took it off and they all calmed down. You know it's a cold day when you come out and every animal is looking at you. Look at... I don't I think you guys can see. Yesterday. They're all, Penny's over there staring at me. They all start walking towards the, toward us and then the goats are all down there screaming. I actually like the, the hat though. Oh, maybe that's why they're looking at you. Storm's like, oh, not this again. Oh gosh, this is not good. He took it off and then he showed all of them the hat and then they're like, okay, whatever. We have two super noisy goats. Our little weather and then our little baby that we bought. Oh, Gracie. Let's see what happens when Gracie sees him. Yeah, I don't know this morning they were just freaking out. Now they weren't expecting. They were not not expecting. You want some pineapple? <laughs> Whoops. So I have this little bucket of pomegranate and pineapple that I'm gonna try the goats and the chickens with. And this guy needs a different blanket on. Whoa, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Ew, he says. Let's see, let me break this one in half. All right, let's see. I only brought one with me. Do you like it? Of course you'll like it because you like everything. I feel like girls like things a lot better. <laughs> she either likes it. <laughs> Let me get another. Ha, huh, Greasy. All right, I just gave one to the baby and I didn't film it by mistake. All right, all of our horses like pineapple. <laughs> She's, she just stands there like, yeah, I get pineapple every day. All right, I'm gonna go down and, oh goodness, what is that? You got hair missing on your face. She's still, she's still 
she still has the taste of it in her mouth. I don't know if she liked it actually. You like it? It's so strong. Storm is literally such a bully. You're such a bully. And I know it's just him being a horse and being the leader of a horse. Everybody's scared of him though. Sam just told me I shouldn't be in here. At dinner time because they get anxious and everybody comes in and then they get these are the smart ones these girls are the smart ones don't follow me I'm going down to the goats <laughs> no more there's Ellie literally the snow we haven't had snow for so long Ellie loves snow you guys this morning when we came out to do chores she was just flying through the snow yeah. Ellie ouch stop Horning me! Hey, look! I want to see if you guys like pineapple. Why don't you give it to them in there? All right, let's go in. Let's go in. Everybody head in my way. <laughs> I can't believe that buck. Oh, look how cute! Ellie. Ellie. Oh my gosh, she can climb through there. Holy heck! Sophie just let all the goats in. That's so dumb. Yes, I see you. Get out of there. Okay. Honestly, look how cute they look. Like, I actually love this. It just, the vibe of it, I love the vibe. It's like you can sit out here and see the sunrise or the sunset or whatever. All right, look. Pineapple. Oh, she doesn't like it. <laughs> She's like, what is that? And then pomegranate. Look at that's pomegranate. I was cleaning up my fridge today and I was like, I need to get rid of all this junk before it goes bad. Stuff that we haven't eaten all of it. Oh, look. Sh I hope you're not giving them pineapple without me. I'm not giving them anything without you. Or at least they're not eating it. Look at him. He's so cute. Belly. Leonardo. Come here, Leonardo. That's his name, Leonardo. She doesn't like it. Maybe it's too big a piece of stuff. <laughs> oh, pomegranate. I tried pomegranate. See? Here it is. She Come doesn't here, like Lizzie. it. She was wet. She's so cute. All right, you we're gonna. Put it in her pool. There's a 99 for only nine chance she'll eat it. But the pool is frozen over. Winter problems. Look at how cute he looks. Oh, look, he's gonna go for it. Give him one. Uh oh, she's mad. <laughs> Typical woman. <laughs> so she hasn't laid since she laid the first time, and I know ducks often don't lay in the winter, but. I think she should be laying more than she than she does. So we decided to change up her diet a little. All right, don't give them any more. Let's do the goats. Open. Here they come. <laughs> They're like, we just wanted you out of our way. Cool. Ducks take a bite of their food and or bugs or dirt or grass or whatever it is they're eating. They take a bite of it and then they swish their mouth around in the water they swish water in their mouth to like kind of swallow it down oh, great. so their water is always dirty i give them fresh water every morning and every night but the reason it's that color is because their food is there and they switch that food into it i think my brain messed up what happened come here it was out there this door was closed so you put ellie in there and put the goat in a different area he's still out we're gonna try <laughs> They're pregnant mamas. <laughs> they don't like food. Goats will eat anything, they say. Give them fruits and vegetables, they say. And they never like it. Do you know who okay. will love it, though? The boys. The chickens. The boys. All right, here. Their water's Let's frozen. see if Miss... Oh, yeah, I need to give everybody fresh water because their waters are all frozen. Yeah, boys like you want a piece now, everything. Only the boys like oh. it. It's weird. Turn to the side so I can see. Oh, but he, she'll take it. She didn't eat it? Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. 
all of our buckets are frozen. So we have a bunch of these buckets that are insulated and I wanted to see if it like froze just the same and it did. So I do have whew, heated buckets, but I need some kind of way to plug them in. So I'm gonna get Sam to come in in the morning and hook them up. Whew, I think I have three, no I have two. I'm considering heating this barn. It's not that it's really, really cold. Ellie, it's that their water freezes and I have two buckets. Uh, the duck and the goose are in their water so much, swishing it around, it never freezes. It's the weirdest thing. So uh, Sam's putting a new hay bale in. I think you should teach Gabby how to do that. Drive the tractor and put it in. There are so many ways we can heat our barn. As you guys know, there's a heater in it, but I don't feel safe with it because Sam told me that you should never have a wall heater on plywood. And I'm sure that that heater has heated this barn for a lot of years before we arrived here. All right, we yeah, so it's so warm in here. So we put our last pumpkin in the coop. <laughs> and they are loving it. You get a piece. You get a piece. You get a piece. You get a piece. <laughs> They're going to fight over it. Save piece. some for all the different chickens. Like the mama you will want some. some yeah, the pomegranates are so good. All right, so Sophie's going to give the mom some. Check her water. Your job is to push them back down. All right, my job is to push them down. Every single time we go and buy baby oh, chicken baby, food, so cute. every time we go and buy, whoa, <laughs> every time we go and buy baby chicken food, they always say nobody breeds chickens at this time of the year. And I'm like, it's the dumbest thing. People breed it. Here, let me fill, fix up their, fill up their bowls. People breed chickens in the spring and they want layers in the summer. Like people want to buy chickens and have eggs. They want to buy chickens in the spring and have eggs in the summer. But no chicken, it takes like five months for them to lay eggs. So why in the heck do you breed chickens in the spring? It just seems so dumb. I think it's because people don't want to deal with chickens in the freezing cold. But if you can do it, like this is so far, knock on wood, the best choice we've made. Because in the spring, Sophie will have like 20 chickens that she can sell and they're like between 30 and 40 dollars each i never sell anything with them. yeah so anyway then people have chickens in the spring that actually are layered i'm honestly second guessing our choice to breed our goats when I'm we not. did we didn't actually get to choose because when you have a buck like in the spring we're gonna have to set up something for the buck the only Same. problem is, is i hate a buck being by itself but now they're too I, pregnant to fit through gates yeah, but the thing is, is that people say, oh, Bucks want to be alone, but they, he doesn't. He wants to run with the herd and he can't. Molly! Molly, come on. Anyway, our babies are due in February and I feel like it's going to be the coldest time and Sophie and I are going to have to sleep out there with them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?